again, I feel useless. Can I carry something? Thanks. So, what's in the bag? Oh, go upstairs. Are you giving or receiving? <laughs> No, I don't know where I went. <laughs> I told you to stay inside. I, I just went to get my dresses. You should have sent Betty. <laughs> when you do something your husband tells you not to do, and everyone sees it, how does that make him look? I wasn't trying to make you look bad. It's just... Just what? It was supposed to be a surprise for our anniversary. Oh. Do you want to open it? A mini disc player? I thought you'd like to listen to music while you work. You don't like it? Thank you. Now please, don't go out again. I have some good news. My father called. He thinks we can make peace with the Malakops. They're gonna divide up the disputed neighborhoods. The war will be over soon. Oh, that's great! Oh, it'll be so wonderful for things to get back to normal. What about? My father's offer to be the family's lawyer again. I turned him down. Because I have my own life now. With you. Besides, you wouldn't forgive me if I got involved with the family business. I'll be in the den. Call me when dinner's ready. I'm just gonna take a bath first. Of course. Derivative flowers. From who? I said, from who?
that? Stay here. Pardon me. Do you mind if I cut in? Oh, not at all. Are you here for the bride or, or the groom? The bride. That was a beautiful ceremony. I mean, really. And you. Sorry, but um, the way you kiss, I mean, it reminds me of this girl I used to know. Excuse me? Yeah, um, in New Jersey. Her name was, uh, Marianne Barbiero. Excuse me, but are you on the guest list? <laughs> she defrauded some big time insurance company, faked her own debt, split with a million dollars worth of life insurance, and the insurance company's been after her ever since. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? I mean, if, um, if you were that girl, and I was the guy that finally caught you. <laughs> I got a picture of her somewhere. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Yep. Looks just like you. Excuse me. Love your job, don't you? Well, I'm not married to it.
Hello, Connor. This is Donna. It was great seeing you the other night. Let's do it again soon. Call me, okay? Hi, Connor. This is Christine. I don't know if you remember me, but we were in a bar a couple weeks ago when you gave me your card. I'd love to hear from you. Call me. Connor, this is Jenny. Actually, I don't know why I'm even leaving this message because I'm really pissed off at you. But call me anyway, okay? Connie, it's Barbara. Easy. Rick. My sister's been kidnapped. Get your stuff, we're going to New York. Here's your ticket, we're taking the red eye. No, wait, wait a minute. Kimmy's been kidnapped when? This afternoon. Her husband was killed and she was kidnapped. This is not my problem. Sure it is. You find people, that's what you do. Not tonight, not for you. You used to be a cop in New York, okay? You know the city, I don't. I need your help. Kills you to say that, doesn't it? You know, maybe if you and your father weren't in such a rush to send Kim away, you'd know where she is right now. We sent Kim to New York to go to school. No, you sent her to New York to keep her away from me. And she's been dead to me ever since. Bullshit. You still love her. I wouldn't be here if you didn't. I know you, Spears. I know you. The only thing you're gonna know is the ass kicking you receive if you don't leave. You know what? There used to be a time when we would do almost anything for each other. Yeah, you know, I vaguely remember it, too. Take it easy, Rick. Kim gave this to you, I remember. It means hope. If you don't love her anymore, why do you still keep it? Now, she's out there somewhere, still alive, I can feel it. But I don't know for how much longer. Now, there's your ticket. Royal Airlines, 10 o'clock. Just casual. That's fine. But what's the plan? Plan? I do what I do, you stay out of my way. I don't like that plan. It's the only one I got. Fine. As long as you tell me what you're thinking when you're doing what you're doing. I'm hating this already. We'll take a number. Taxi! Let's take another one. What's wrong with this one? Yeah. What is wrong with this one? Taxi's a classic. They don't make checkers like these anymore. Oh, uh, we need a cab for a few days. So I can be hired for as long as you need. I'm not married. I don't have children. I work the hours I want. Oh, Look, honey. Look, just forget about it, huh? Don't be other fans. You stay out of this. <sighs> Whatever you want, I'll do. We want a man. Can you do that? Oh, I see. It's because I'm a woman, huh? Yeah, now I understand. Look, sweetie, why don't you just run along? Charity, it's a job. Do you want it? Yeah, I want it. What do you have to say for yourself now? When you punch, put your shoulder into it. Yeah, maybe I'll practice on you. <laughs> so, Carmen, where'd you learn to punch like that? Two years army, and I'm a quarter Lebanese. So, are we gonna sit here and chit chat all day? Or two? Brooklyn. Well, that narrows it down to about 50 square miles. Kim's house, what's the address? 2119 State Street. Isn't that the house that got all shot up? 
Who are you guys? Look at if you don't want this job, no one's holding a gun to you. Meter or flat? Flat. How much? Haven't decided yet. I gotta tell you, it's probably gonna be dangerous. Hmm. I don't know how much to charge you, but it just doubled. Wait here, I'll be right back. By myself. Not today, Spears. Take me back to the airport. Are you serious? My way? By myself. Your way? By yourself. Those are your choices. That's what I thought. So what's the deal with you and Mr. Hugo Boss? Spears and I used to be friends. No, we're not. Well, that clears that up. Find anything? This wasn't just a hit. Too sloppy, too much firepower. Whoever did this was trying to make a point. Can you find her? There wasn't enough inside for me to even begin a trail. Well, so now what? 
Hey, Carmen. Hey, what? Take us to Gold Street between Tillery and Johnson. Let's see what the cops know. Doesn't he ever say please? Not lately. Stay back. You are too close, Mr. Malakor. The Cengiz. Cengiz no body. But me, I'm not little stupid dog. Stay back. I am allowed. Someone wanted to see me. I am a New York City cop. You are a private investigator from Los Angeles. I don't believe I have any responsibility to share information with you. I was also a New York City cop. I was hoping for a little professional courtesy. My professional courtesy extends to this meeting. As for your record with NYPD, I took the liberty of pulling your file. Quite a distinguished little career you had going before you fled the city. Fled? Fled. Fled. Not one, but two separate investigations by the Internal Affairs Bureau. One for excessive violence. Which was dismissed. And one for allegedly accepting a bribe. I was being set up by the mob. Does it mention in there that those charges were also dismissed? Yes, just for lack of evidence. However, the investigating officer did note that your salary was insufficient to support your lifestyle. My parents died when I was young. They left me money. And recommended that further investigation might be warranted. However, by that time, you'd resigned the force and moved to Los Angeles. My partner had been shot. I couldn't do my job anymore. One could say that you couldn't do it in the first place. Mr. Jensen. Detective Jensen. Detective Jensen, please. I know you're a busy, important man, oh, so... give me a break. Just take a look at this. I, uh... This is my sister. Now, as her brother, I have an obligation to protect her. My father passed away last year, and I promised him that I would do just that. So, please, I need your help. What's this? We found it in the bedroom. I thought you might like to have it. Now, notwithstanding your unfortunate alliance with Mr. Spears here, rest assured that we are doing everything we can to find your sister. Jensen. When? Busy, important man. Two internal affairs yeah. investigations? No, no, I'll be right over. For your information, the head of the Malakoff family was just assassinated. Now, if you two gentlemen will excuse me. Videotapes. What videotapes? The ones from the hidden security camera at the Chang's house. Can we at least see those? Those are evidence. They're not for public viewing. We're talking about my sister. Why won't you help us? Because I don't like dirty cops. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was because you are a horse's asshole. Oh. No, that was great. That was great. You are a horse's asshole. Wonderful. Oh, at least they didn't need a crowbar to pry my lips off of Jensen's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
trying to get information out of him, okay? And by the way, you never told me how hated you were by the cops here. Now, that's some information that could have come in handy. You came to me, remember? Yeah, I remember. And you know whose fault this is? Oh, it's mine, right? And your partner's. Leave him out of this. What are we going to do now? Put the chain's got a copy of the videotape. We got to go talk to his father-in-law before he gets whacked. Long Island. One time, one of you clowns is going to say, please, I'm going to have a heart attack. I mean it. Please! You wouldn't like it. Nobody says please. Wait here. No. Let me talk to the guards. I don't think so. Spears, I know these people. You talk a certain way, you act a certain way. Come on. Even you have to admit I know the Chinese better than you do. Okay. So, um, what's the deal with you and Kato? What did he tell you when you asked him? He said you used to be friends and now you're not. <laughs> That's about it. He's not home. He's not home. That's bullshit. How'd it go? Not great. Where's Spears? In the house? What did he do, just jump the fence? No, he said I should tell you thanks for the diversion. And then he jumped the fence. Shit. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about videotapes. Why don't you ask the police? I cannot help. Now, please leave me. I'm sorry, but the I don't know anything bit doesn't really cut it with me. It will have to, Mr. Spears. My man will show you out. Goodbye now. <gasps> what are you gonna do, tough guy? Shoot me? Chinese thinking out pretty good, don't you? You come here and desecrate my home in my time of mourning. Mr. Spears has his own way of doing things. It's a bad way. Get a lot of people hurt. I didn't start this war. The Malakov thought I moved in on their territory. So they killed my son and took your sister. What do they want with Kim? They thought that as long as they have her, I'd be more reasonable. <laughs> but they were wrong, because you killed the head of the Malakoff family, and now Kim's caught in the middle of your little war. Who's the head of the Malakoff family now? The nephew, Daniel Malakoff. He's crazy. Even Malakoff don't know what to do with him. Where is he? In hiding. We can't find him. Yeah, watch us. Mr. Chang, you trained with my father. You went to the same school. Now, he said that makes you like brothers. Now, I'm asking you, in memory of my father, please do not do anything more to the Malakovs until we find Kim. 
I don't know if I can honor your request. Yashiro, my sister. If there is a mistake, you take care of it. So what'd you say to him? Told him if anything happens to Kim, I'd come back here, rip his heart out, shove it down his throat. So much for the traditional way, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Ever eat? No, there's pretty good Chinese takeout down that. Or we could have a club sandwich or something. Cut the chit chat. This jacket is ruined. Is that attitude you're giving me after making me drive around in circles for an hour? You're a hell of a guy to work for, you know that? You ought to try living with me. Thanks, but the whole GQ thing isn't doing that for me. Hey, what are we doing? Well, we've been waiting for nightfall so that we can follow that BMW that's behind us to the Malakoffs. Don't look. We're being followed? Since when? Since we left the Brownstone in Brooklyn. And when I tell you to speed up, we want him to lose us, but we don't want to lose him. Now you're talking. job or not. Well, you should have read the fine print. Right? I'm driving. No way. Give me that. Come on, let's go. Later. You gotta go. Come on. down there in the back. Lie down. <sighs> Scoot over, move close to me. Look, maybe some of the playboy waxed airheads you're used to boinking like your bullshit. Just move over here. So here we are, two love lovebirds. Out for a night on the town. You can follow him anywhere. So, he's calling Daniel Malakoff to tell him he's lost us. Malakoff's gonna tell him to come back home. Oh, I'm sure about that, are ya? Absolutely.
I know, you'll pay me back. We'll lie down with Rick. No way. Lie down. So how are you two doing? Oh yeah, I'm spent. How about you, honey? Funny, I didn't feel a thing. You coming? Well, you know I am. Stay with the car. Yeah, what's left of it? We're looking for Daniel Malakoff. Speak English? Never heard of him. He speaks English. Who's the man here? Why? Because we want to talk to him. What about? About why he surrounds himself with assholes. <laughs> This man's right. You are an asshole. I mean, there's to have you for a cousin. I'm Danilo Malikov. Now, do you believe that if anything were to happen to me, my men would not suddenly kill you? I believe they would try. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> good, 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 good. I feel very safe now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Just looking for my sister, Kim Chang. Oh, your sister's married to Paul Chang. Where is she? Paul Chang is dead. He's the most dead Chinaman in America. <laughs> I hear. He looked like he went through a food processor. <laughs> Whatever's going on between uh, you and the Changs is your business. All we want is the girl. So do I. That girl's prime. I've seen her a few times. Can't get her out of my head. Uh... I don't got her. The one will know something else. I don't know who does. <laughs> the Changs think you do. Well, they can go to hell and I'm going to send them there! They killed my uncle. For no reason. Well, the streets won't be red with Chang's blood. I got things to do. So why don't you two faggots go make love to each other? You feel safe, huh? Uh-huh. You feel safe now? Rick, we deviating from the plan? The plan? Can't stop thinking about her, huh? Is that what you said? You, you better let me go or I'll, I'll have my men shoot your friends. Oh, please, go ahead. We're not that close anymore anyway. It's true, we had a falling out. Now tell your guys, put all their guns in that dumpster over there. Do it! Do it! Do it!
And I'm gonna count to four. But you're only gonna hear as far as three, because that's when this bullet's gonna blow your brains out through the top of your head. It'll happen so fast, you won't feel a thing. Personally, I hope you call his bluff. Psycho nut boy. One. Where is she? <laughs> I don't know. Two! Where's my sister? Uh, I'm telling you, I don't know where she is. You, you know, really, you should consider answering the man's question. <laughs> Tell me where she is! I'm telling you, I don't know where she is! I don't know where she is! Three! <laughs> huh? Oh, nice going, sport. All over your new shoes. <laughs> Bad news. I believe him. Me too. Um, thanks for your help. We're gonna be leaving now. I'm gonna get hard on when I kill you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything now, isn't there? <laughs> kill I'm an A Filipino. Well, Connor, too bad we had to meet like this. I heard a lot about you from some of the men here. You know, New York lost one of its finest when you left the city. Thanks, Captain O'Donnell. Take care. That was Captain O'Donnell. He said that if we cause any more problems, you and I face criminal charges, and you lose your medallion. But he never stopped smiling. Yeah, it's really kind of sick if you think about it. Come on, let's go. Come on, wait. Spears, what's the plan, man? I'm playing. There is no plan. All right? We checked our leads and came out dry. Right, we got no trail to follow. Game over. What about Kim? He said the cops are on it. I know nowhere to stay out of it. How many cops? One. Jensen. That's why it's not over. Spears! 
Aren't you gonna say hello? Jake. Hey. Hey! On time no see. How you doing? You look like shit. <laughs> Hey, Jack Chickalini. Rick. How you doing? Uh, what everyone calls me Chick. Hey, Carmen. Yeah, nice to meet you. You know, Spears and me used to be partners until uh, one day I took a hit in the old information superhighway, you know? What are you gonna do, right? So, how long's it been? It's been a few years. Yeah, something like that. Spears, I gotta tell you something. Excuse me. This is so funny. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. This is so funny. You're gonna love it. Ah, baby, there you go. What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice to see you again. What was that for? What are you, his mother or his girlfriend? Neither. Then stay out of it. Okay, I guess you, uh. You owed me one. Take it easy. But that's it? You're just gonna walk away, huh? Well, cause you got no guts? Cause you're a quitter? How many cops you put in chairs in L.A., huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. take it easy. Just blowing off a little steam! <laughs> Spirit, come on. I'm all right. I'm all right. Leave him alone. I said let him go. Let him go, Joey. I, I got it, I got it. Hey, nice shot. Thank you, Connor. After all these years, I finally figured out how to get you to treat me like a person and not a, you know, it felt good. And yeah, they didn't have the heart to take me off active duty, so they put me in charge of the motor pool, baby. I'm a lieutenant now. Hey, promotion, congrats. And so why'd you split town? You didn't even call. Because of this? Huh? This wasn't your fault, Spears. I was supposed to be covering you. So it makes it my fault. Hey, you did cover me, okay? Anyone else, I'd be dead now. And don't forget that. So what's the deal with you and Rick? I studied a little martial arts with him and his father and until I got involved with his sister. You and Kim Chang? Uh, but that was a few years ago, and uh, I'm over now. Yeah, all right. Some hardware you got here. What is that? That's the NYPD's latest toy. It's a modified heavy rig tow truck used for hauling vehicles out of hostile situations. Sweet, huh? Think I'm in love. You just broke my heart. He's got this thing for cars. Yeah, especially now that mine's trashed. Who told you to drive it into a building? Hey, nice gratitude. Whoa, 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 wait a second. That's your cab outside? Oh, you mean the big yellow paperweight in the impound lot? First thing, I'll get it out of impound. Second, I'll have the best mechanics in New York City fix it. How's that sound? Yeah, not bad. So what do you know about my sister? What I know? She vanished. Real messy, amateur hour. Yeah, maybe the Malakovs did it. They got the Changs looking over their shoulders pretty good. When well, we ran into a brick wall with Jensen. Jensen, that old guts wouldn't help you guys if you're the commissioner's daughters and he was banging you on weekends. Yeah, no offense. Look, he, he's running for office. He don't want to make waves now, especially with the Chinese and Russian communities. I don't suppose you guys got permission to be investigating this case. No, Donald wants us out of here. Well, I'm staying. If you don't have the guts, fine. Right. You sent her to New York, you put her life in jeopardy, and I'm the one with the character defect. Um, uh, fellas? You don't know what you're talking about, Spears. You and your bullshit traditions. <clears throat> if you had just left us alone, none of this would have happened. Well, I'm sorry you feel I messed up your life, okay? So I guess nobody's interested in seeing the videotape. Chang had video cameras hidden all over the brownstone. Personally, I'd be surprised if your sister even knew they existed. Isn't uh, Jensen going to be mad that you stole the tape from the evidence room? Hey, 
never give a man a set of master keys if you don't want him to use them. Nice place. I gave the cleaning girl a decade off. TV's over here. Give a guy a hell of a limit. I did two years army and I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, looks like they cut it down to only the good stuff. You know? So to speak. You got something? Maybe. Somebody didn't just want Paul Chang dead. They wanted him good and dead. What are you looking at? This. There. What'd you just take? What do you think? I think I want to see it again. Want some company? Always. You won't believe this dream I just had. Tell me. You were kidnapped or 
something in New York. <laughs> Kidnapped? Did you come looking for me? Yes. Did you find me? No. You were just gone forever. Connie. <laughs> you know you'll never be free of me. Okay, so let's say Daniel Malakoff kills Paul Chang and takes Kim, but doesn't tell anyone in his family. He starts the war, gets his uncle killed, and he's next in line. Let's the Changs do his dirty work for him. That makes sense. Except for one thing. I believed him when he said he didn't have Kim. What happened to that big Gimpy bastard we followed? Where'd he go? I slipped out the back when no one was looking. It was a setup. We were led to Malakoff to throw us off the trail. By somebody who wants both the Changs and the Malakos to kill themselves off. Any ideas? A hunch. But I gotta check the bounce on that one more time.
I'm not going anywhere. Get back to me. They're still checking the hospitals. Hospitals? Look, if they wanted us dead, they would have just killed us. Now, I gotta believe Connor's all right. I agree. Carmen, you don't have to do that. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. When I'm nervous, I clean. When I'm nervous, I like to make love. I'm warm if you start feeling jittery. Feeling a little jittery. So maybe you should take a cold shower. So what are we gonna do now? Just nothing? For the moment. How are you feeling, Mr. Spears? That's a hell of a limp you got there, buddy. I said, how are you feeling? Much better, thanks. You're trying to find the girl, but she is dead. Where's the body? You shut up. I said she's dead. You're wasting your time trying to find her. Is that what you brought me here to tell me? I'll tell you what to do. You take the girl's brother. You get on the plane. You go back to Los Angeles. There is nothing here for either of you. What happens if we don't? <coughs> then next time, we get together and we do more than just talk. Yeah, chick. Uh huh. Right. Well, that's it. I'm going. I'm with you. All right, I'm in. We'll start looking for Spears at the house. Spears? I'm talking about finding my sister. What? Spears is either taking care of himself or maybe he's already dead. Either way, he doesn't need us. Are my eyes open? Because I don't believe I'm hearing this. Oh, you're hearing it all right. The guy comes all this way for you and you just give him up like that. He didn't come here for me. He came here for himself. He still thinks he and Kim can make a go of it. But he doesn't get it. Kim is Chinese. She thinks Chinese. As hard as Spears would try, he could never understand her. He just hasn't been able to let her go. Well, there's a time for everything. You've been holding on. Yes, there is a time for everything. And now's the time to find my sister. He's right. Hey, Spears! Are you OK? I need an aspirin. We need to call your doctor. Oh, I'm, I'm OK. And hey, where'd they take you? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Did you see Kim? They said she was dead. Do you believe them? No. OK. How do we find her? Not we. Just me. This is between me and whoever's got her. I'm going with you, Spears. I think it's better if you stay here. You're not going anywhere without me. Don't even think about it. That's right. That goes for me, too. When I was there, I smelled ether and gasoline. Yes, so? Cocaine. It's a cocaine lab. That means men with guns. Probably lots of them. So if we were to go in, we'd go in shooting. Where do we start? Got a map? Yeah, we'll start at the brownstone. When you were driving, how long would you say it was? 27 minutes. How do you know it was 27 minutes? I timed it. OK. The first turn was up here on the corner, and it was a left. So that puts us on the BQE. I thought you were in the trunk of the car. You was. At about 12 minutes, I heard the sound of tires on a bridge. Metal or asphalt? Metal. Staten, Staten Island. Island. They took you to Staten Island. Yeah, that washes. Now what? 
Okay, at about 18 minutes, we made a hard right, and then I heard the noise of a construction site. Uh, all of Staten Island's under construction. I heard helicopters at 21 minutes. Made sure air transport? Nah, that's too far inland. Arthur Kilhall Park. Sounds about right. That will make the construction the Port Authority Annex. That washes. <laughs> what? Something else, you know that? Okay. Six minutes, anything else? Ambulances, I heard ambulances. Staten Island Medical Center. Could be. At 27 minutes, we made a hard right. What do you think? There's only one way to find out. Rick. Back off, Spears. Don't be stupid. We'll get her, but not now. Look, you don't even have a plan. No, you don't have a plan. My plan all along was for you to find out where she is, and then for me to go in and get her, alone. Now I'm going in to get Kim, and I'm bringing her back to LA. I'll hurt you if I have to, Spears. You're gonna have to. Don't try me, Spears. Okay. Okay, you want. Pissing contest to me. My father and I didn't make him go back to New York. She met Paul Chang in LA, wanted to be close to him. She didn't love you. Tell me. Because I had an obligation to my sister to protect her, to protect her secrets. I had an obligation to protect you. I never asked you to. Didn't have to. We used to be friends, remember? We trained together. That made us like brothers. Didn't want to see you get hurt. I begged you to let her go, move on with your life. I barely remember my parents. Your family was the closest thing that I ever had to a family. Being in love with Kim was the closest thing that I had to a tradition. Begging me to let go of her was was asking too much.
So, um, what do you do when you're not fighting your way across Brooklyn? Why you want to know? Well, because we've been sitting here for um, four hours, and uh, you haven't said three words to me. <laughs> and because um, I want to know. I teach. I teach martial arts. I took over my dad's school last year when he passed away. Is that what you always wanted to do? Uh, no, no, not really. Why do you do it? Because I promised my father. Yeah, well, what about you? I uh, got enough. You know, when I'm teaching in the school, it's like... It's like you still, you know... Here we go. Bingo. There's a limo pulling out. Come on. The limo's empty. Okay, so we'll go back to the pier. Everybody sure they want to do this thing? You talking to me? It's gonna be dangerous. I said I'm good to go. Do I have to spell it out for you? Okay. Let's do it. Forget something? Yeah, my patience.
slip you something long and hard. How about I slip you mine first? Realized this is our first date. Light you up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, shut up and die. How did you know? There were things all along I didn't like. The sloppiness of the head. The way I was roughed up, but not killed. That's the last time I tried to be nice. But I think it was the jewelry that really did it for me. My jewelry? You took everything. Except your wedding ring. I saw it on the video. The mirror in the hallway. Right. Damn it, I know I forgot something. I know I forgot something. You see, they didn't know that I knew about the cameras. You were done with Paul Jang even before you knew he was dead. Chinese wife takes care of her husband without interfering in his affairs. Paul didn't want to be part of the family business. And uh, there's a lot of money to be made there. So you engineered a war and played the Changs against the Malakovs. Using the disgruntled members of both families to make my own. Classic hostile takeover strategy. Benefits of a modern business school education. You fooled everyone, including Rick, who risked his life for you. I always loved that about him. Tell him you couldn't save me. It'll be easier on him. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> You'd shoot me, Connie? After everything we've been through together,
Before I came, I called the Changs. They know about you. The Malakoffs will know as well. So will the police. Your game is over. If you should get away, I'll just track you down again. You will never be free of me. I think I will. Let's try and see each other a little sooner next time. Yeah, uh, next time LA, we've done New York already. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't worry about your sister. I'll keep tabs on her, make sure she's being taken care of right. I appreciate that. I plan on coming back to New York anyway. I want to be close. Yeah, beautiful. You stay at my place. Your place? Your place. I've seen your place, chick. Don't worry, <laughs> I got a maid now. Oh, watch the hair. Did you get to be so annoying? <laughs> now, are you sure I can't drive you guys to the airport? I guess you've already done that for us. <laughs> so bad. Bye. Oops, sorry. Take care. Thank you. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> Taxi! Well, that's going to be so boring without those two. Don't count on it. Where'd you learn how to kiss like that? I'm a quarter French. <laughs> JFK. Well, I'll help you if you want me to. You're not good at giving help, Spears. And I'm not good at asking for it. Oh, man. Scoot over. Come on, go around the other side, will you? Scoot over. Oh. <laughs> 